What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the new cards in NBA 2K19, my team. So if you guys were watching my video yesterday where I talked about the no money spent squad, I literally said in the video, this was, you can watch it, you can clip it, well, it's not Twitch, you can't really clip it, but you can watch the video. I literally said this in the video, and it was that I wasn't going to buy any cards yesterday, because obviously I knew LeBron, something to do with LeBron was coming out today, and also that if the Raptors won, there was going to be a ton of Raptors players. What I didn't expect though, was a full starting 5 Galaxy Opal lineup. This is going to ruin sniping for Galaxy Opals, because I can guarantee you that Fred Van Vliet, Kyle Lowry will be under 100k, I can guarantee you these two guys will be under 50k, I can almost guarantee you Marc Gasol will be under 100k, and also, it wouldn't surprise me to see this LeBron James be about 200k. It wouldn't surprise me. And I think that these guys going under 100k will push the likes of Steve Nash under 100k. It'll push, obviously, I think McCollum already is under 100k. I don't think who else. Moses Malone might go under 100k, but that's all that I can kind of think of. But I wouldn't be surprised if when these cards come out, um, they release a... Rather than just having the five of these cards, they release like super packs, which they should do. But we have to see. So yeah, the market's going to completely die. And it's not going to ever recover because, for a couple of reasons. It's coming towards the end of the year, so less and less people are kind of caring too much. There's more and more MT around, and cards always get a little bit cheaper. They're also going to start releasing more, like, moments packs, giving people more opportunities to get free cards as the weeks are going to go on. So I think that it's only a matter of time until the market completely dies, and it's going to happen very, very soon. It's not really going to recover too much from this. But uh, yeah, so we're going to quickly go over the stats of the LeBron James cards. So first of all, Amethyst LeBron James, four Hall of Fame badges, tireless score, acrobat, relentless finisher, and posterizer. He's also got gold limitless range and gold catch and shoot, which are good badges to have. Gold difficult shots and deep range dead eye. Like, they're good badges, especially because the one thing he kind of lacks in is shooting the ball. He can speed boost, he's super fast, good speed with ball, he's got good on-ball defensive IQ, and a good driving dunk of 97. 77 shot three is not the best, but again, with those shooting badges, he's actually not a bad three-point shooter. Not an absolutely incredible card, but he's, he should be really good for an Amethyst. For like 1K MT, he's, he's going to be a steal. Now we are on to the Diamond LeBron James. Seven Hall of Fame badges, difficult shots, tireless score, acrobat, relentless finisher, picking around Meister, one-man fast break, posterizer. He has got um, 92 open shot mid. He's got an 84 open shot three, which is not bad, I guess. 97 driving dunk, same speed, speed of ball, and acceleration as the um, the Amethyst. But, obviously a plus 7-3 ball. He's not that much better, to be completely honest, than the Amethyst, except for the badges. But, this guy's going to be like 8 KMT, so I don't see, like, he's not that much better than the Amethyst. But, the plus 7-3 ball, as well as the Hall of Fame badges, are enough to say you should probably pick up the diamond over the Amethyst. This is the one I'm most interested in, because the pink diamond, if it's similar to the Opal, could be like a game changer. So he has got 14 Hall of Fame badges, which is a decent amount. Catch and shoot, difficult shots, no limitless, which is what the Opal has, which is big. Mid range that I acrobat, tireless score, pick and popper. He's also got relentless finisher, dimer, flashy passer. Okay, so this guy he's better than the other pink diamond, obviously. One or eighteen plus. Um defensively brilliant. 97 driving dunk, 99 layup. Really fast. And like 45 intangibles, so this guy is quite clearly a hidden 99 overall, but so is most cards nowadays. And I've seen the stats of the Opal, like the Opal's exceptional, but this guy's not that much worse. Like one stat under 80 in its post hook, um, like five or six stats under 85, and in all things that matter, like shooting, dunking, um, perimeter defense, he's 90 plus and everything, so a like really great card. Next we're gonna go, we're gonna go over to LeBron's first, then we're gonna go over the obviously the Raptors card. So the Opal is almost a perfect card. And I'm telling you guys this right now, like we all know what the um, limited one is, 99 everything. It's kind of basically 99 everything. Like I'm not even lying, like 94 plus in every single stat. This guy is the signif is significantly better than the Opal Kobe, the Opal MJ. And he also has got limitless range, catch and shoot, difficult shots, pick and popper, acrobat. He's just an unbelievable card. Like poster eyes, chasing eyes, defense, stop, pickpocket, pick dodger. There is absolutely nothing this guy doesn't do. Like, the gold badges he has aren't the most important things in the world for small forward. He's got, he also has Hall of Fame Bruiser, which is good. 
Um, post game is not that relevant, but his post game is really good. 92 post hook, 98 post fadeaway. Like, this is almost a perfect card. This is as close as you can get to a perfect card without being 99 everything, pretty much. Total stats of 4,475. Like, compared to the limited Opal, there is only 80 difference in stats, and like, I know obviously there's 99 everything, but it's not it's not that significantly better than the non 99 everything because again he's like 94 plus and everything. Sure, he's got 30 Hall of Fame, 31 Hall of Fame bags compared to 21, but like his Hall of Fame muscle rebound that big a deal for him. His Hall of Fame uh, Lob City, Lob City passer is it or is a Lob City finisher? And um, that he doesn't have but, like a couple of, like Hall of Fame drop stepper, all Hall of Fame putback king. Not that relevant to be completely honest. So. Like, this is an unbelievable card. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you pack the signature limited LeBron, you should be delighted. Like, you should be absolutely delighted if you pack this card. However, the thing is, if you pack the card, just sell it. Like, trust me, it's a smart, it'll be a smart decision just to just go and sell the signature limited LeBron and pick up the normal signature LeBron because there's absolutely no difference. Unless you need to have 2016 finals LeBron because, I don't know, it was your favorite moment for a player. Um, then go for it and I don't understand I actually do not understand why young LeBron isn't the pink diamond and Miami LeBron isn't the opal Miami LeBron was prime LeBron and regardless of the 3-1 deficit and all that Miami LeBron 2013 when he should have won unanimous MVP was prime LeBron James he was he nearly won defensive player of the year nearly won MVP won finals MVP and <laughs> like that is Prime LeBron. Why is Prime LeBron a pink diamond? But um, anyway, rant over. Um, now let's go on to the Raptors cards. First of all is Spicy P. Spicy P has got 18 Hall of Fame badges. He's got difficult shots, catch two corners, special pick pop. Well, I'm just going to show them all here anyway. Great defensive badges as well. I think he's only on a 14, didn't he? 17. Like his pink diamond actually had 17 Hall of Fame badges. 96 open shot three, great driving dunk, great post hook and fade away. Defense is unbelievable. 4,183 total stats. He can't speed boost. He can't speed boost. This one can speed boost. The pink diamond's better than the opal. What? <laughs> the pink diamond is significantly better than this galaxy opal. That makes no sense, 2K. That makes no sense! 2K, come on! Okay, now we're on to Marcus Gasol. Marcus Gasol, great shot mid, great shot three. Unbelievable post second fade away. He's got really good speed and acceleration. Lateral wings of 84 is great for a seven foot one center. A great post game. And if he's like less than 100K, he's going to be a great, great pickup. But um, as they said there, his passing stats should be significantly higher. Um. But overall, will be a great, great center in game. Now to the exciting ones. Like I know, obviously, it's not going to be good in game. But Fred Van Vliet, the guy who, in my opinion, could have won Finals MVP. Um, just I think for defense more than anything, he better have defensive stopper. Yeah, he does. He has the defensive badges, limitless range, all shooting badges. However, he's a six foot tall point guard. He's not going to be great in game. Um, 98 open shot, three 95 open shot mid. Uh, he's got 97 speed, speed acceleration, 97 speed ball, 98 ball control, 98 on ball defense like you, 98 lateral quickness. So like he, sh he should be a good card. However, obviously he's a six foot tall point guard, so he's not going to be great. Kyle Lowry, no driving dunk, 16 Hall of Fame badges, a six one point guard who they didn't give Hall of Fame limitless range to. 96 shot mid, 96 shot three, 96 speed acceleration, speed with ball. Unbelievable on defense, but again, he is a six foot one point guard. So I'm sorry, but these stats are brilliant. Stats are brilliant. Badges, 16 of them. There are better diamond point guards than this guy. So, nah, like, like Rich, like, I'm just saying this right now. Richie Guerin's a better card than this. You are going to be better off using Richie Guerin than this card. And Richie Guerin is a 50k two guard, the diamond. Just like Richie Green's better than CJ McCollum, these guys take over from CJ McCollum as some of the worst Opals in the game. Actually, is there. Why are Opal point guards so bad? We've got CP3, who's garbage. We've got Van Vliet, who's six foot tall. We've. And. Actually, no, Van Vliet may not be too bad. I'll, I mean, yeah, let's see. We got Kyle Larry, six one without limitless and a slow release. Why are Opal point guards so bad? But uh, now we got, we're on to Kawhi Leonard. 
Kawhi Leonard 20 Hall of Fame badges. He has got Limitless. Woo, they gave Kawhi Limitless. They gave him Limitless on his diamond last year and didn't give him even gold on his Opal this year. Um, obviously, defensive badges. Got all the shooting badges. He's got 99 shot mid, 98 shot three, 97 speed, uh, 94 speed ball, 97 acceleration, 98 driving dunk, 98 post fadeaway. If you take out post hook, he's got everything else above 90. 95% of his stats are above 95. 99 in most of his defense, except for low post defensive IQ, and 4,416 total stats. So Kawhi can be a bit baited with his jump shot, but nah, this card's brilliant. This card is absolutely brilliant. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. There were seven, yes, seven Galaxy Opals added today in NBA 2K19 My Team. And even though Siakam is significantly worse than his pink diamond, even though Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet won't be great, Gasol's just going to be solid and Kawhi is going to be good. We've still got seven of them. The market's dead. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.